Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Sagittarians. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of April the 19th to the 25th, 2021. This is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with each and every one of you, Sagittarians, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does resonate with. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions that are personal, then that requires a private reading with me and all that information is posted below this video. My price is my website and how to contact me via my email. I truly do want to thank you though for your interest in my channel and for viewing liking, sharing, and especially all those brave people that subscribe to me. <laughs> it's free people. If you like what you see, please show your appreciation by subscribing. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, but you will show us that we have a reason to be out here to promote ourselves, to please you guys out here. And this is what we truly have a passion to do. So just click that subscribe button and the bell, make it ring, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view. Thank you all in advance. Okay, so let's see what we have here, my beautiful Sagittarians. My mother was a Sagittarian. I always said Sagittarians give more than they get back in return. Think about that. You've got the Leap of Faith card. This says it's time for you to do that. And look at the graphics on this card. You've got the hand of the divine and source reaching out to catch you, to make you have a soft place to land. So know that it isn't as frightening as you think to take this Leap of Faith, to go towards something that maybe you have never done before. And it does leave you with a little bit of trepidation and fear. Don't fear, my friends, okay? Take that leap of faith. The universe and the divine is saying that you have the resources now at, at hand. You can make your mark now. You can move forward and you can go for that passionate goal that you've always been wanting to do. Maybe you're taking the leap of faith to leave something or to go into something new or to open a business or to go into a new relationship or to just make something happen that you've always wanted to do. Maybe you're going to take that world trip someday. Go to that place that you've always wanted to do. Now is the time. Okay, your first energy card that you've been given is... This particular card called Wild is from a beautiful deck and this is a healing deck that I have right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful deck. Where am I here? Okay, the healing the healing card deck and there's might be something that you know I've been using this for my readings this week because there are issues possibly in the past that you need to heal through in order to go through transformation to go towards your new destiny and you know this particular one is wild okay this one says you know there is a wild untamed spirit inside of you desperate to be unleashed free it and claim the gift of energy power passion and creativity that it offers you know when you suppress your wild beautiful outrageous and untamed self you dull your senses and you crush your creativity you shrink you lose your energy and be and often sometimes it brings on depression your relationships suffer and your rage grows you become ashamed hostile cold boring over serious and scared you stop taking chances to take that leap of faith to live your life in mediocrity. No, let that wild side come out. Give into your wildness and stop living a sham. Move forward and grasp onto it and be bold. There's a beautiful, beautiful side to you, my Sagittarians, and you need to let that wild side out. You need to embrace it. You need to make your mark on the universe now and be true to who you truly are because there is the truth card. Look at that. Yeah, disarm your ego and face your fears, okay? And, um, you know, being stuck in the past, trapped within your circumstances, ultimately the lower self takes out the present moment and we stop truly living. Focusing on the past causes barriers of reaching our highest self's guidance and inner being. So step up into your truth, my beautiful friends. Stand up for what it is you know is, is, is what you want to be and the truth within yourself. Remove the mask. Let your truth self come out and that may be about emerging your wild side accepting the reality and the truth of situations around you okay recognize your emotions when they arise accept them without judgment and release them with love and gratitude and do it appropriately beautiful beautiful message stand in your truth now you may need to be going through a balance issue here where you need to set up barriers and you know this is all about 
you know, um, you might be a, a, be a bit reluctant to change right now as well. You may be hesitating because of the past, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't go for it. Weigh all the sides before moving forward. This could mean the start of a relationship, but might be proceeding slowly because you're holding yourself back. Let that wild side out. Step into your truth. Do what makes you happy and take that leap of faith. Yes. Okay. Let's see what our crowning energy here is. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. And that is, I always call this the card, walking in your garden of abundance, keeping your options and your eyes open to the goals and the passions that you want to see unfurl and, and, and become and come into fruition. This is a beautiful card, a positive energy, again, saying that you can make your beautiful dreams come true. So you're very close to tapping into this, walking into your garden of abundance, stepping up, making the changes uh, and emerging and taking that leap of faith to go towards these goals and passion here that you need to go towards right now. So, alrighty, let's see what we have here. Let's move on to our three of wands coming in behind you. This is a card that says you're waiting to see something come in. Maybe you put out a proposal, an idea, you're looking across, you know, you could be dealing with business overseas or at a distance. You could be wanting to travel the distance, going the distance for your job or your work or something in your life at this time, but it's a waiting. You've done your job well, my friend. While you're waiting, start planning your next move. Be patient. You've got the Four of Swords here. This is the card of taking a rest, being able to take a rest now and realize your hard work is paying off, but you may be overdoing. This is a card that says you need to lay back a bit, step back, take a rest, get your rest, rejuvenate, recharge so that you can keep going forward in a healthy manner okay so you know the four of swords says you know you're you're protected you're safe once you step back and while you're there you can it's okay to be thinking about your next move but you need to slow down and rest a bit here You've got the emperor and this is stepping up into your own power, being a leader, knowing that you have that capability now, or this could be somebody that is a leader that's stepping up to guide you. Um, this is about crossing your T's and dotting your I's and doing things that are right. You could be asked to step up and maybe speak publicly or promote yourself or defend yourself for something. Do it and step up and be confident. Don't be afraid. The five of pentacles talks about feeling lack and loss, regret, disappointments. Maybe you're worried about money, but I don't see that a problem here because your crowning energy is the nine of pentacles, walking in your garden of abundance and seeing that fulfillment come in. There are resources out here. She has a key there. All she has to do is put that key in the door and she can go forward and find the options, opportunities, and resources that can resolve her worry. You've got the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands talks about defending, promoting, uh, standing up for yourself, but also picking your battles wisely. So whatever you feel when you're being drawn into a debate or someone else's drama, think about it before you jump in there into the quicksand with both feet and try to swim your way out of it. And don't take on other people's burdens. Coming in towards you, you have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords talks about winning something, okay? There may have been a battle, a debate, something where, and it could have been a legal issue that you fought hard for and you won. And now you shake your head and you say, you know, I still feel defeated. Why did it have to come to this? Well, when we go into battle mode, we know there's going to be, uh, there's going to be risks and there's going to be, uh, you know, consequences. But nonetheless, you win this, okay? So don't be afraid. Uh, you, you fought a hard battle. You know, you're probably saying, why did have to come to this? Why couldn't we have been amicable? Why couldn't they have agreed? You know, why did it have to be a battle? But you win it regardless. And it makes you move forward and it makes you move on. And this means you're moving from troubled waters to calmer shores. The worst is over. You're heading in a brand new direction, my beautiful friends. Stand in your truth, maintain your balance, and take that leap of faith. Be the wild individual that you truly are and let that truth come out. You're going in a beautiful new direction and you're going to be taking people with you or meeting new people that will stand by you. Again, here's the card of choices, okay? Uh, you know, this has been coming up a lot for other signs as well. And this means, you know, I call this the eeny, meeny, miny card. But this is about decisions and choices that you're going to make. And you may have to be brave at the time. But think about the outcome, okay? Um, what is going to benefit you to your greater good? I mean, you know, sometimes I tell people when we do business readings, you know, they say, well, I got two offers. One's going to pay me more money, uh, but the other one is going to give me an easier life and more time off and, and better benefits. Well, think about that. Okay. Uh, if you're thinking, you know, do what's right for you. 
okay, for your greater good, and you'll be able to make the right decision. Now, let's see what we have here for clarification with our beautiful Queen of Pentacles, or our beautiful Nine of Pentacles. You have the Devil. So, um, this is a card of making healthy decisions for the greater good. Uh, this is the addiction card. Maybe you, somebody around you or yourself has addictive behavior, and it could be anything. It could be overthinking, over worrying. It could be an obsessive uh, worry. It could be overeating, over drinking, whatever, okay? Overindulging. But I do think that you're going to be moving on, walking on, and you're going to be making the right decisions. You're going to leave what's holding you back. Okay, you're going to let it go. Uh, you know, don't hang on to something that keeps you a victim or keeps you or, or keeps you hanging in limbo or keeps you, you know, disabling your happiness, holding you back from moving forward. And that's what the devil card does. The three of wands, you've got the magician. So you have all the elements. The universe is sending you a message here karmically sending you a message that you have the infinity sign above your head here this is manifest tip it on its side and it's the manifestation number eight of moving forward making changes being conscious about money uh that could be the situation situation here but you're going to have resources time effort support and or the resources in finances to create this happiness that you want you're waiting for it it's coming in your ship the Four of Swords, the Rest card. You have the Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming in here. Somebody on an emotional level. Could be your Knight in Shining Armor that's coming forward to offer you their hand in time, effort, support, appreciation, respect, love, romance. Wow. You're going to feel as though you've been swept off your feet. And some of you may feel like you're in love with somebody or something. This is a beautiful card of energy. Wow. Lucky you. The Emperor. The Leader. You've got the nine of nine of wands. So don't be afraid to step up and be a leader. Uh, you know what? This is the card that says don't give up. Keep moving forward. Step up into your power. Become the independent, solo, wild individual that you truly are and stand in your truth. The five of pentacles. You have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, planting your seeds well. So take up the resources that are being offered to you here so you don't have to worry about this anymore. Um, I think you planted seeds well. You either put out a proposal, an idea, a resume, something out there, uh, and you're waiting to hear how they've received it, how they're going to uh, react to it. Don't worry because you did everything right. You crossed your T's, dotted your I's, and planted your seeds very well. Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups, so wishes fulfilled. You know, some people read it, make a wish. Others say, hey, wish is fulfilled. Beautiful, beautiful card. So you're going to be able to see abundance coming in. Don't worry so much and get caught up in all this drama. Winning the battle. Maybe you've won some money here in court. You have the Four of Cups. You were in a position where you felt bored. You felt as though you were missing out on an opportunity. Keep your eyes and options open. You've won a battle here. You're able to move forward now. And there will be more beautiful opportunities, either of love or prosperity, coming into you. Moving on, you're going in that new direction, and it's all because you're getting an offer here. Look what you've got. Ace of Pentacles, the card of prosperity and abundance. Could be getting an offer of a, of a new job, a new career. Uh, maybe, um, you know, a raise in pay. Uh, whatever, it's a beautiful card that says, get ready. Get ready for the inflow of abundance. You know, it could be a pay increase. It could be, you know, unexpected money that comes in that you didn't realize was going to come in. If you're starting a new business, likely it's going to turn out very, very well and succeed. Um, if you want to make an investment, this is the perfect time to do that, that you're being sent this opportunity to know that it's going to be okay. You could be signing some legal documents or contracts of correspondence right now. I love it. This is also the card of returning good health, okay? Some of you could be going back to school, you could be taking a new form of study to get a degree, and others, you could, it's just all about good luck coming in. Oh, love it. Your final card, the Seven of Cups, you've got the Four of Pentacles. So keep your options open, your eyes open, your nose to the ground, as they say, uh, when you make the choice that you want here. Um, be open to something new and different coming in. That's basically what I see, but it's also the extremes in which you spend your money and you save your money. So you could be dealing with, uh, you know, situations where, um, you know, you might be have have money coming in here, uh, the resources coming in here for you to uh, pay off a loan, or if you've applied for money, you'll get it. Wow. Well, my beautiful Sagittarians. 
This is your reading for this week. And of course, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And you know, I tell you this every week, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. So be mindful what you throw out there. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings my beautiful souls and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Let's all play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and we'll all see each other very soon.